Hi guys, this is Prak ICU. I'm Mikhail Pazdernik and you are watching presentation related to plural drainage, which will give you more insight into the topic. You can perform diagnostic plural drainage, after which you will send a sample for cytologic, biologic or chemical analysis. Or, in most cases, you will be doing therapeutic thoracosynthesis with an aim to remove large amounts of fluids. During this procedure, you will also get samples for thorough analysis. Thoracosynthesis might be a single bedside procedure, or you can perform continuous drainage with the insertion of intercostal drain. What are the clinical indications of drainage? It is the presence of pleural effusion, empyema, hemothorax or pneumothorax. There are several absolute or relative contraindications which are coagulation abnormalities, skin infections, skin wound or small loculated effusions. Before the procedure, you need to assess its safety. Confirm that the fluid depth is bigger than 10 mm. There is no interposition of lung during inspiration and there is an adequate clearance from structures like diaphragm, liver, spleen or heart. Always use ultrasound for proper guidance. It will help you with the selection of the best site, will give you real-time visualization and will therefore reduce the risk related to the procedure. For ultrasound visualization, you can use either convex abdominal probe or the classical cardiac probe. You can estimate fluid volume using simple formula 20 times maximal distance between parietal and visceral pleura in end expiration. Which catheters are available for thoracosynthesis? Preferably, you should use small bore catheters over the large ones as they are efficient, safe and better tolerated by the patient. Large bore catheters should be used for drainage of empyema or hemothorax. Most commonly used catheters on ICU are Seldinger technique inserted drains or what we use in our department, Pluracan system. The set contains 50 ml syringe, integrated connecting tubing, thin wall puncture needle with short bevel, and 45 cm long, highly elastic polyurethane catheter with protective sheath and closure cap at proximal end. Closure cap at proximal end. Pre-procedure, get the consent, rule out coagulopathies, review chest x-ray, set up an aseptic trolley equipment and perform provisional ultrasound. Procedure can be performed in different positions, depending on the patient's status. The most frequently used position is upright position, but you can do the drainage in supine or laterally recumbent positions. In acute scenarios or in patients with limited mobility, such as ventilated patients or patients on ECMO, you should be familiar with a triangle of safety drainage. This approach minimizes the risk to blood vessels, muscle and breast tissue. Using the ultrasound, define the safety zone, visualize the dark anechoic collection of fluid and always do the puncture above the level of the rib to avoid neurovascular bundle. Check the vital signs before each chest drain insertion. Also think of all possible complications that include injury of lung or vessels, hemothorax, pneumothorax, puncture of intra, abdominal or intra, thoracic structures. After thoracosynthesis, send fluid for biochemistry, cytology, microbiology or TB culture. Check the results from biochemistry to diagnose the etiology of fluid, if it is exudate or transudate. Here are some hints that may help you to establish the correct diagnosis while looking at levels of cholesterol or triglycerides, pH, glucose level, or cell count. Immediately after thoracosynthesis, exclude procedure-related pneumothorax. Finally, perform chest x-ray to visualize the catheter position and also 
look for signs of potential pneumothorax. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos and presentation from Prague ICU.